Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract numbers up to 5 using the dot method. So let's begin with our first example. So that is our question. It's a nice easy one. 2 minus 1. So what is 2 minus 1? And how do we do this using the dot method? Well what we do is above the first number we draw dots with what the number says. So in this case the number is 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one dot here and the second one here. We've got two dots because the number is 2. Let's check the sign. It is minus. So we're going to take away. Now how much are we going to take away? Well it tells us in the question. We're going to take away 1. We're going to take away 1 dot. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross out 1 dot. Here we go. So how many dots does that leave? Well now we simply count them. 1. It's 1 dot. So 2 minus 1 equals 1. In fact, I'm just going to go back and write it in blue. 2 minus 1 equals 1. OK, now let's have a look at our second example. This time we have 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1. And again, a nice easy one to work with. Using the dot method, what we do first is have a look at the number on the left. We've got 4. So let's draw four dots. We've got one, two, three, and four. So those are four dots to represent the number four. Check the sign. It is minus. So we're going to take away. We're going to subtract. Now how much are we going to take away? It tells us in the question. We're going to take away one. So let's cross out one dot. That's the dot we're taking away. So how many dots does that leave? Well, let's count them. We've got one, two, three. That leaves three dots. And that is our answer. Four minus one equals three. And it really is that simple. Now let's have a look at one final example and we'll use slightly larger numbers for this. This time we've got 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3. Now how do we do this using the dot method? Well again we start with the digit on the left. We've got 5. So let's draw 5 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've got five dots because we have the number five. Check the sign. It is minus. Now how much are we going to take away or subtract? It's three. So this time we're going to cross out three dots. So let's do this. One. So we've crossed out one dot. Two. And three. So we've crossed out three dots because we are taking away three. How many dots does that leave? Got one, two. So that leaves two dots. And that is our answer. Two. Five minus three equals two. So when you, if you are faced with a question like this and you don't know how to work it out, you can always use the dot method by writing the dots on the left hand side first above the number and then taking away what the number on the right says. Now you have a practice with these. 